Hello, welcome back once again. Today we have this interesting equation. 27 raised to the power of x plus 3x is equal to 4. Our goal is to solve for the value of x, right? So how can we solve this problem? Now let's get started. So from the left hand side here, we can subtract 3x from both sides. So we have here 27 raised to the power of x will be equal to 4 minus 3x right now let us change the sides so we can make this right hand side the left hand side we can make the left hand side the right hand side so this will be 4 minus 3x is equal to 27 raised to the power of x now in our next step let us factor out the coefficient of x here which is 3 so if we factor out 3 we have here 4 over 3 minus x right so this will be equal to 27 raised to the power of x now we're going to divide both sides of this equation by this 3 multiplied by this 27 to the power of x. So we have 3 into bracket 4 over 3 minus x divided by 3 multiplied by 27 raised to the power of x. This will be equal to 27 raised to the power of x all over 3 multiplied by 27 raised to the power of x. Now we have some nice cancellations. This cancels this. This one cancels this one. Then we have here 4 over 3 minus x. Then 1 over 27 to the power of x is 27 raised to the power of negative x. This will be equal to 1 over 3 from the right. Okay. Now we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 27 raised to the power of this number here, 4 over 3. You know why? We are trying to obtain equal exponents and term in the bracket. We need this exponent to be equal with the terms in the bracket. So when you do that, that is to multiply throughout by 27 raised to the power of 4 over 3. So when you do that, this side here will become 4 over 3 minus x, then times 27. 27 raised to the power of negative x multiplied by 27 raised to the power of 4 over 3. This will be equal to 1 over 3 times 27 raised to the power of 4 over 3, right? So here we add this power. So we get here 4 over 3 minus x. Here will be 27 raised to the power of negative x plus 4 over 3 is almost 4 over 3 minus x. So this will be equal to now we have here 1 over 3. We need to simplify this, right? So this right over here is same as cube root of 27 all raised to the power of 4. Here is how it is done. This is same as 27 raised to the power of 1 over 3, then raised to the power of 4, right? Because when you multiply this together, you get 4 over 3. And we know that this part here is cube root of 27, which is equal to 3. Here we have 3. Then we have 3 to the power of 4, which will give us 81. So here we have just 81. Now in our next step here, we have to write this one here using this property. We know that A raised to the power of B is equal to E raised to the power of that B times the ln of A. So we use that here. So that will become that will become E raised to the power of 4 over 3 minus x times the ln of 27. And we have here multiplied by 4 over 3 minus x so this will be equal to we have here 81 over 3 which is equal to 27 you get the idea now we need to make this power of e equal with this expression in the bracket so all we need to do is to multiply both sides by ln of 27 right because that will make this expression here equal with the power of e okay so by doing that now we have here 4 over 3 minus x times the ln of 27 times e raised to the power of 4 over 3 minus x times ln of 27, right? So this will be equal to 27 times ln of 27. Now we can make use of the Lambert B function, but we need to multiply this right hand side one more time. 27 is the same as e raised to the power of ln of 27, right? Then multiply by ln of 27. And from the left hand side here, we have 4 over 3 minus x 
times the ln of 27 times e raised to the power of 4 over 3 minus x times ln of 27. Now let us recall the property of lambda w function. We know the lambda w function of k times e raised to the power of k is equal to k. We can see that this expression here is equal, I mean this term or is an expression is equal with this power of e. Now take a look at this. This here is equal with this. And this one here is equal with this. So take the Lambert on both sides. So the left hand side will simplify to 4 over 3 minus x times the ln of 27. This is equal to the ln of 27. So divide both sides by the ln of 27. So here we have this cancel this and here is 1. So we get 4 over 3 minus x is equal to 1. Right? So from here x is equal to 4 over 3 minus 1 which is equal to 4 over 3 minus 3 over 3 which will give us 1 over 3. Right? So therefore we find a solution x is equal to 1 over 3 is our solution. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment and share.